Hello, Southeast Christian School. Happy summer. Hope you guys are doing so well in that you're enjoying some time outdoors, some hopefully some vacation time, some good time to rest, and uh, hope you get to do some fun things this summer. It's hard to believe it is already middle of June. Um, just can't believe how quickly time is flying. I wanted to just touch base real quick. Uh, I myself am getting ready to head out for a little family vacation. Uh, really looking forward to some time of rest with my own family. But I wanted to just send a quick note uh, about what's been going on here the last couple of weeks. We sure do miss you guys and are really looking forward to seeing you all in the fall. Um, so here we go. Real quick, just a couple things on our summer update. First of all, if you are new to Southeast Christian School, welcome. We are, uh, God has just really blessed this school. We're seeing some growth with new families. Uh, really just amazing to see what God is continuing to do here. God is so good. School is growing. We've, we have some new staff positions. We're excited to be telling you guys about here in the next couple of weeks. Um, and we're just excited to see. So welcome to our new families. I would encourage you guys, if you need something, feel free to get connected on the Facebook page or on uh, there's a Southeast Christian School Facebook community page as well. Great resources there. Uh, or reach out to us at the school personally if you need something. Welcome to our new families and um, to our returning families. Again, we can't wait to see you soon. Just give you a couple updates. What happens in school while you are not here? Well, here's some of the things we're working on. Um, this summer, we've, we're have we working busy on putting some new projectors into the classroom, some pretty cool wireless uh, interactive projectors just to really promote and continue to support learning. We have a new math curriculum. Your teachers finished some training this summer. Uh, they're working hard, getting ready to, to roll out a exciting new program uh, for the fall. Some new novels, new reading coming, lots of new things. Um, I love the little Spiro STEM kits. Those came in last week, and I can't wait for you guys to have some hands-on opportunities with those, coding and and working on, on some STEM education pieces with our new Spiro bots. Uh, grades four through eight, in case you hadn't heard already, you guys are gonna be one-to-one -one on Chromebooks next year. Um, so we're excited to have some more access and some technology training. So grateful to have Ms. Kozak here and, and all the work she has done to really build and lead this program. Of course, too, biblical integration, this is a huge part. Uh, it is the center of, of who we are as a school. and. So a lot of your teachers this summer are working on their own professional development, taking courses and studying how do we become the best educators, not just Christian educators, but how do we become the best educators, the best leaders, the best thinkers as Christians? Because it's, it's not just an adjective. It is everything we are. We are Christian leaders. We want to see you guys um, succeeding, thriving growing. And so your teachers too are working um, this summer. On how do we continue as teachers? How do we lead you um, towards thinking biblically and, and looking back at every single thing in life through the lens of who God is and what he has done for us? So we're excited to be leading that as well. Um, another quick update just on uh, school uniforms. I'll shift this for a second. Uh, the company, thank you for those who have been Emailing, there's been a few little hiccups along the way with our uniform, new uniform company, uh, new vendor. And so they've been pretty responsive, have been making changes as they've come in. One thing I wanted to point out, if you just Google search educational outfitters, it's going to take you to the Denver store, and then you're not going to see the school listed. They're working on that this week to get that updated. If you do go to denver.educationaloutfitters.com instead, um, that will get you to the school store, and there are some discounts available still through the end of June, I believe, for those who are ordering. Uh, the biggest change for us, really, uh, we worked hard to, to grandfather in a lot of the existing uniform pieces. The biggest change you'll see for us is that everybody needs to have one of these blue, royal blue shirts. We used to have these red shirts um, <clears throat> that you would use for field trips or other events. We've switched to that this year, and, and that really is the primary change on our dress code. Uh, we've also just limited some of the color selections. So look at the handbook again, revisit that. Um, you can still wear, if you have uniform items from last year, you're still welcome to wear, I'd say the majority of those are still on the approved list. 
Uh, but if in doubt, check the, the new handbook and see what all is on there. Biggest thing I wanted to point out is that we are requiring every student to have at least one of these blue polo shirts. Those will be our, um, our off-site shirt, our uniform shirt, if we ever have a, a all-school uniform specific day. Uh, but more than anything, just an, an easy way to identify our students when we are out and about. So check out that website. I want to give a huge shout out real quick. Where can I put me where I'm not in the way here? Down here we go. A uh, huge shout out to Mrs. Sundin, one of our former teachers, um, also phenomenally talented artist, also a former student here. Uh, she came in last week and, and redid a board for us um, in the teacher's workroom. I wanted to just share this with you because this verse, um, these verses from Psalm are, are really what we're holding on to. Psalm 46 talks about God is our refuge. He is our strength. He is our ever-present help in times of trouble. Because of that, because we know who God is, therefore, and I, if you don't, if you haven't heard this yet, guys, anytime you see therefore in the scripture, you always got to ask, what's the therefore, therefore? Well, the therefore is there because God is this, because God is our refuge and strength. He is an ever-present help in time of trouble. Because of that, we don't have to fear. And so as believers, we're really holding on to this verse this year and, and really have adapted this as our one of our theme verses for the year that we will not fear because God is our refuge and strength. Um, it continues on and says, the Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. So I, I wanted to share this with you, not only because it's amazing artwork that she came in and did freehanded and, and just knocked it out of the park. So I wanted to share this awesome picture with you, um, but also just to share the scripture and, and let you know, guys, this is as we move forward into this next school year, here's, here's the heart of who we are. We don't have to fear. As believers, as followers in Christ, God is our refuge. He is our strength. We run to him. We don't have to fear. And so we are holding on to that. And I just wanted to share that, ask you to be praying with us even this summer about this verse and how it's going to uh, affect your lives and, and the truth of God um, just covers us and, and, and how you can live this out even this summer. He is our fortress. He is an ever-present help in times of trouble. The last piece I want to share with you. Um, can't stress this enough, and this is so easy. Uh, I know there's a lot of fear about summer slide, and um, how are we going to catch up? Let me let me tell you this: your your teachers are phenomenal, and they are going to work with you when we are back in the building. They're going to work with you, and they're going to get you exactly where you need to be. In, in any missing work or gaps because of the, the, just the craziness of these last few months, you know we're I'm confident we're gonna we're gonna meet those needs, and we're gonna do an awesome job. Um, you're going to continue to learn. Your teachers are going to continue to lead. Here's something you can do right now. More important than anything, this summer, if you take some time to read and, and find a book that you love, one that um, really, really motivates you, something that is, is going to be enjoyable, and just read. Let me give you a couple of little stats on this. You know, number one, students who read independently not only become better readers, but they also score higher on achievement tests in all subject areas. They have greater content knowledge than those who do not. So be a reader. Uh, it will benefit you in the long haul. The more elementary age students read outside of school, the higher they score on reading achievement tests. That should kind of be a, a well, a duh moment. We, we know that. Uh, also, the last piece on here, really look at multiple studies support even a small amount of independent reading increases primary and elementary students reading comprehension vocab, spelling, understanding of grammar, and knowledge of the world. So my challenge for you this summer is, is just spend some time reading. If you spend 30 minutes a day, uh, get a good book and read. You know what that's going to do so much for you, not only in reading, but in other subject areas. You're going to continue to learn. You're going to be coming back to school just ready to roll uh, when we hit the ground running this fall. So. Parents, too, feel free to incentivize. Um, I have paid my daughter to read books before, and I'm not ashamed of that. I think that is a much better use of, of reward than uh, buying her a, a video game system or something else. So, it, it, you know what? 
have fun with it. Uh, find some fun, creative ways. Enjoy reading, not just because you have to, but find some books you want to read this summer and, and dig in and have some fun with that. So I just wanted to check in and, and say, God bless you guys. I hope you're having a great summer. We miss you. We look forward to seeing you all soon. Uh, again, don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. And um, God bless you. And we look forward to seeing you. Talk to you later. This is Mr. T signing off. Bye-bye. <laughs>